Yo, what's up YouTube? This your boy AG, man, back again. Um, real quick, I wanted to let y'all know that the contest, I'm gonna extend it for another week. Um, just because there's a lot of cats out there, man, it's their first time making a video. And as they're putting it up, they're having issues and things like that. Um, so what we're gonna do is extend it to Sunday. This Sunday coming up. And I didn't specify last time as far as what um, time zone that it would be in. So just have it in by Sunday night, man. Monday morning will be the cutoff. I'm just gonna put close on the title of the video. All the guys that said that they were gonna um, participate, I'm gonna start calling y'all out. So I'm looking forward to y'all videos, man. Come on, man, let's do this. Have fun with it and learn at the same time. Enough of that, let's go ahead and get into this tip that a couple of the guys had incorporated their own to the content. So what I have is I have a, a sample loaded up. Now this is a whole entire song. So um, we're going to find a four bar loop using the internal um, machine sampler. And with the, with the internal machine sampler, you can set it for, um, for how many bars that you want to set it to. And it'll record that. So the main ingredients that you need, man, you know, you get your sample, find your start point, find the tempo that you want it to, to, um, to record it at set the tempo and then choose how many bars you want to record to and basically it'll record that exactly so here we go all right here's a sample You can see, man, if I let it play out, it would have played the entire song. So what we're going to do is now, I'm going to go into sampling. All right. We want to go into record. We want to change the source from external to internal. We're going to record it from our input, which is going to be our master. We're going to change the mode from detect to sync. And what that's going to do is sync what... Um, how many bars or whatever we want to record and then the length we're going to go from free to now you can go all the way from one bar to 16 bars so we're going to go ahead and since we've been working with four bars we're going to go ahead and, and uh, put it to four I'll set the start point on the sample okay so we want to go into edit since it's not starting directly on the one, we're gonna go ahead and put it on the one, so. Let me zoom in a little bit. All right, and it's not gonna be perfect. I'm just trying to do it real quick for you guys, so. So that's good enough. It's right there on the one. And I'm not worried about the end point right now. So come out of sampling. We want to change this. Make sure your um your pitch and gate is set to uh one shot. So when you hit it one time, it's gonna go ahead and record all the way through. Now what we gotta do is we're gonna find the tempo. So when I hit this, we're gonna go ahead and use shift and the note repeat to get the tap tempo. Ready? With that right there is a little slow for me, so what I'm gonna go ahead and I'm gonna tune it up. Now that's gonna speed up speed up the sample song. So I tuned it up. Alright, so when we hit it, we're gonna go ahead and hit shift, note repeat with the beat to get the tap tempo. All right, 
right, so what I got is right around 72, 73. This is another way to try to find out if you're on beat or not. So as we plan, you want to hit shift and play. You want to go ahead and select the pattern. Let's go ahead and put it to four bars. So hit shift, press play, now press play by itself. You can tell right there that it's pretty much on beat. So that's a quick way to find out if you got the correct tempo. All right, so we got our tempo. We got the sample. We got the start point. So now what we're gonna do is we're gonna go ahead and lay this sample down. But let's go ahead and change the pattern. Uh, just say we wanted to change it. It's at four bars now. Say we wanted four bars but you don't know exactly how long it's gonna be so let's go ahead and you know up it to eight so now it's at eight bars so what we're gonna do is make sure the sample is on one shot and we're gonna go ahead and record this just to to get it to play all right we're gonna lay this down and then we're gonna go in and uh use the the resample mode or the in, internal sample mode to go ahead and get the exact four bars And that's pretty much all we need. Let's go ahead and quantize that so it's on a one. All right, so now when we play it, it should go all the way through. It should keep on playing until that eight bars is set. Or you can set the bars however long you want to set it to, but let's check it out. I know you've been hurt by... So you can tell and what I'm doing is just changing it from ADSR to one shot to kind of cut it off. Um, but now you can tell that the, the sample is on beat. Um, we got it pitched, we got everything set up. Now we can go back to sample mode. Now we got the internal source, input, master, mode to sync, and we got it the length set to four bars. All right. Now we're going to set it, select the pad that we want to record it to. Press start. Now it's saying waiting for the next bar. And then what we're going to do is just press the, the loop button or restart on your machine, whichever one you got. And it's going to start to record uh, from that one hit that we laid down. So check it out. Alright, so now we got a perfect four bar loop. So now if we play this right here. Three, four, two, two, three, four, three, two, three, four, four, two, three, four. Now that you got your four bar loop, you can go ahead and, you know, chop it up, do whatever you want to do to it, man. But um, again, we could get it a little bit more accurate, but, you know, that's... I just wanted to kind of throw this tip out there and shout out the dudes that's, um, that's entering in the contest and show you, you know, the type of stuff that they bring into the table too, man. So make sure you check them out. Yeah, also, man, I want to thank you guys, man, for getting me to 1,500 subscribers. Um, I'm roughly at oh, close to 100,000 views, man. So that's been real big for me. That was a goal that I had set when I first started. Uh, it hasn't even been a year ago, so I appreciate y'all for y'all support, um, you know, watching my videos and things like that and helping me grow so fast on this channel. And um, this just opened up the doors for me to do other things, man. Um, getting a little recognition from, from NI uh, Machine, so, I mean, it's, it's opened my eyes up, man, to, to do other things. Be on the lookout. I'll be introducing that stuff real soon. Hopefully, y'all guys take to it and support me in that endeavor as well as you have with this one. So, peace.